behalf of our fallen brother, Mr. Andrew Perkins. And so today, uh, we just want to share a little bit about Mr. Andrew Perkins. Um, Andrew came in with us in fresh, as a freshman in the fall of 2005. Um, he was a member of Kappa Kappa Psi, my line brother, of uh, fall 2006, and he was also a five. He was a member of Crank. He was a member of <laughs> Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, and he was a five for each one of those things. So today, before we uh, present to you who our scholarship, let me share, uh, Andrea, share with us, could you share with them um, the basic criteria for our scholarship for Mr. Perkins? Um, I'm Andrea Manlove, I'm from Kansas City, Kansas. Um, okay, um, Piccolo player, I majored in nursing. Um, Andrew um, was one of our beloved brothers. Um, he had one of those spirits that, you know, you just connected to automatically when you met him. So this is in honor of him. Um, the scholarship criteria was that you had to have at least a 2.7 GPA. Um, it was open to any major. Um, and then you also had to submit an essay of at least 500 words um, explaining your meaning of DPAC. We know for the band it stands for Discipline, Pride, Attitude, and Commitment. And how you exhibit that in band and in your studies and how you <coughs> plan to continue to use that throughout your daily life and throughout your careers. So that was the um, criteria for the scholarship. <coughs> and sadly to say, out of all the band members, we only had about six people to apply for the, seven people to apply for the scholarship. Um, and out of those seven people, we did select two people that met the criteria. So before we announce those two, peepers, those two people, we want to bring um, the brother of Mr. Andrew Perkins up to share just a small amount of information about him. This means more to me than one could imagine. Um, Drew loved music. He loved the band. He he dedicated his life to it. The some of the obstacles that he overcome would take me all day to describe. He <laughs> he had to overcome me at times. I, would fight him, he'd be practicing around the house. I had his uh, symbol. One time I threw his drumsticks out of a moving U-Haul. <laughs> uh, he was an incredible person. He loved his music, he loved his band, he dedicated his life, his life to it. I know there are uh, a lot of you out here right now who, who are striving <coughs> for excellence here and in the classroom and in life in general. Um, those are the qualities that you possess, <coughs> and, and I believe that that the the person who the scholarship will be dis, uh, bestowed on today uh, should possess those same qualities. There will be obstacles, there will be trouble, there will be potholes and detours. Just keep going, stay focused on your on your goal, and uh, and do what you gotta do, and never quit. Above all. <coughs> criteria. Um, the scholarship amount for each person today um, is in the amount of $555 a piece. <coughs> um, collectively, I think it was 22 people that donated to the scholarship. We raised an amount of $1,100 um, for the scholarship in about three months. And so that was really a great efforts on the behalf of the class of 2005. So if we can just give the class of 2005 <laughs> Y'all graduated. They need to know that y'all graduated. They think y'all got a degree. <laughs> 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 I majored in industrial technology. Uh, graduated in 2011, December. Uh, 
right out of college, I was I got a job as a warehouse supervisor, uh, an operating supervisor. Now I'm a warehouse supervisor. Uh, basically, it's kind of promotion, warehouse operations. So, uh, right now, I'm doing that. <laughs> 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 something I've been preaching a long, uh, for a long time. You guys hear me say this. We'll know you longer. You're, you may be here four, five, some six years. We'll know you longer. The, the relationship that we have and, uh, and the spirit, and when we remember, and I have a tendency, even though when you are knuckleheads, when you're knuckleheads, uh, I still, some people come back and this I'm sorry. I, you know, I, I didn't, you know, I was just, I just didn't know. And they find out in their lives. And the relationships that we have, this makes me feel really proud to see you guys do what you do. They, you all need to understand, when we're getting on your cases and telling you the stuff about life lessons, these guys look like they could be, they could look like they could be sitting right in here playing right now to me. Look like it. I'm really about to win a few And I want to say this about Andrew. One of the things I can say, Andrew got in trouble with me. Now, but, Who did? But, yeah, he got in trouble. But you know what he did? Even after he got in trouble, he came back to my office and Mr. Graham. I want to apologize. He came and sat down and had a hard, he sought me out and had a heart to heart conversation. Because one thing, if you teach him right, I thank God for discernment. When you know that you're teaching people and you give them the right information, even other people may hate on you, if you do what's right, right will always win out. He came back and sat there in my office, tears in his eyes, and we <coughs> hugged and gripped up two brothers over. And I'm happy to know that before he left this world, he made it right. We don't know when we will walk away from each other, friendships, family members, what have you. Guys, it's this, these are moments right here that are priceless that can make you. Somebody sitting out here because of what y'all have done, y'all have made a difference in something. They're not going to say it. There's somebody sitting out here who's a true stone knucklehead. <laughs> and we've been, we've been fighting and trying to get their attention. And they ain't going to have a second thought about who they are and why they're doing this. Because it's more than just marching out there on the field and putting on a half down show. That, that's a relationship that is in that young man that they have poured into you. So I hope you all remember this when we go out here. We tell y'all to get your feet up and march and get your bells up. Because if you can do that, you're not going to get a degree. You're going to graduate. And you're going to have a career. And we're going to know you long. So I thank you guys. Y'all look good. We'll see y'all in a minute. Thank you. 